Good everybody, and welcome to our continuing coverage of Hurricane Lane as that storm continues to be powerful, making its way toward the Hawaiian Islands, but also showing some signs of dissipating, at least losing a little bit of strength. Obviously, I want to welcome <laughs> joining us as we begin our, uh, our broadcast, <laughs> U.S. Senator Maisie Hirono. Aloha to you. Let's see, I, I saw you on the Big Island. We were at the volcano. Yes. Of course, we visited with you on election night. Mm -hmm. I don't know that we expected to meet each other this quickly um, yet again. I didn't either, but <laughs> things happen, and we're here. <laughs> we are here, and uh, we are vigilant. Yes. And uh, let's get right to uh, the federal response, because yes. we know the state county by county mm -hmm. response has been solid and the federal response has been good too. Uh, the governor put in a declaration yes. and, and FEMA has been very solid reacting very quickly. That's right and the governor requested that, that the president issue a disaster proclamation and he did so and so there are about 300 federal people in our state uh, dispersed. About 150 of them were already here because of the volcanic eruption and so uh, the, they're here and the, the whole response has been very much a joint operation by the federal, state, and county governments. So what does it mean when that declaration is, is put out there and then signed off by the president? What does that free up in terms of personnel, uh, bodies, That's equipment, what it does. cash, all the above? All of the above. All of the above. And uh, at this point, FEMA, of course, is, is uh, basically the, the lead agency, but uh, they are very well primed to do everything that they can. And I think that uh, even if this uh, the hurricane is maybe losing its uh, of force, but there's still a lot of rain, and I think if you saw the pictures of the flooding on the Big Island, mm -hmm. that's going to cause quite a lot of damage. And so I think it's always better to be safe than sorry, and people need to continue to watch the news and stay tuned and, and stay safe and stay, especially out of places where there might be flooding. Yeah. Um, do you feel that Washington completely understands the <laughs> concerns in terms of the mileage, this distance, the challenges that we face geographically? It's not like there's a flood in, in Houston, as yes. there was last year, or fires in Northern California, where assistance can be brought in, can be driven in. Here, it's a, obviously a much more different dynamic. Yes, there, there are uh, logistical issues, etc. And, uh, for example, when the, the volcanic eruption was going on, so many of my colleagues thought that the entire state was affected. <laughs> right. We keep forgetting that we are an island state. We have unique characteristics. That's one of the reasons I'm here, because I want to see for myself what kind of damage uh, occurs and so I can really paint a picture for my colleagues when we need the federal funds to come our way. And the thing is that, that these kinds of natural disasters are happening more frequently and with greater damage and so I think a lot of my colleagues are experiencing these things in their states, wildfires in, the, mm -hmm. in California and all of that. I think that makes us much more prepared to support each other when we come in with our requests. And you did just arrive, because if I'm not yes. mistaken, I just saw I you on TV. I think I was TV. on a plane just a little while ago. Yeah, because yes. I saw you on TV <laughs> on with Wolf Blitzer and oh, Jake yes. Tapper uh, just a day ago. Yes, I was kind of busy on Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, Wednesday was an interesting day. Um, yes. Don't want to get into the politics of all things, mm -hmm. but um, there is something that uh, you can't deny that the, the heat is hotter, the cold is colder, the winters are more dramatic, so are the summers, yes. the fires, uh, the dry oh, brush. Yes. The flooding, uh, you know, the natural I, I disasters. Think, I think global warming and I think climate change, which some people, including the president and his administration, does not want to acknowledge, but most scientists do acknowledge it. And there are things that we need to do. So uh, there are efforts to have uh, uh, more research and uh, uh, done on what causes climate change or what we can do. There are bills to protect our corals. In fact, I've been working with the Army Corps of Engineers to dredge the Alawai Canal for better drainage. All mm -hmm. of these things are mitigation efforts that we should be supporting. When we talk about that term, federal funding, it's great to say federal funding because it's not us, but it is us. Federal it's funding us. means it's still our tax dollars. It just yes. comes out of a bigger pot that more people contribute to. And I think that if we look at it, that we're all in it together, that, uh, you know, if Texas uh, has a major disaster or New York, uh, I hate to see my colleagues supporting uh, resources for disasters in their state, mm -hmm. but not in other states. That is not uh, how we should be uh, looking at things and that's why of course we're going to go in and our delegation will make our uh, pitch to get the federal resources that we need. Yeah. And then the second part of that though there is not an endless source of funding for these quote-unquote <laughs> federal dollars. That's right. 
And how critical is it well, to, for so, that to be budgeted so in we, light of what's happening? We should be very uh, astute in how we spend uh, the taxpayer money. And, you know, the, you raised the issue with me, and I, I, th I think that uh, giving a huge, huge tax break, 1.5 trillion tax break, to the richest people in our corporations in our country when they didn't need it is not where our resources should go. What are your greatest concerns, bringing it back locally, because uh -huh. all politics and all concerns right now are local. Yes. Um, what do you want to see happen here over the next 24, 48 hours, and over the next many days, and hopefully not weeks, as the storm comes and goes, but leaves behind potential uh, concerns? Well, of course, I want to have uh, all of the federal resources coming uh, for the volcanic eruption, because that's going to take, mm -hmm. oh, uh, it's a long-term recovery, the flooding on Kauai, you know, both of those have been declared natural disasters, national disasters, and now we have this. So I want to make sure that all of the federal resources come to Hawaii as, as needed. But oh, there's still a lot of major issues that people here care about, like health care and, and Medicare and Social Security and, and veterans. And so those are all things that await me in Washington, D.C., not to mention the Supreme Court nominee. Exactly. Um, you're going to be here for how long? Just a couple oh, days? I'll be here for a number of days. We okay. shall see. Just like the hurricane we're watching, you know, right. I, I'm going to be here as I need to be. Okay, so let's talk about the, the combination of the volcano and now this uh, potential, we don't want to use the word disaster, mm -hmm. but there could be some uh, challenges as the storm mm -hmm. comes and, and goes. Your assessment of, of the county and the state reaction, because I think much has been learned uh, for better or worse as a result of the, the missile scare mm -hmm. in January, uh, the flooding that we experienced in April both on Kauai and here on Oahu, and then what's happening on the Big Island. Uh, there's been a lot of lessons learned that seem to have set us up in a better position to react. Oh, I definitely agree with that. And I think that when natural disasters occur, that we've always worked very well uh, in a coordinated fashion. So the federal, state, and, and uh, counties have worked in a coordinated fashion. I think that that speaks well for all of our people in Hawaii, not to mention the resilience of Hawaii's people and, and their ability to, you know, sort of be resilient and be helpful to mm -hmm. each other and all of that. So we learn from each one of these occurrences. And I think uh, an agency like FEMA, with all of its decades of experience in helping in, in these situations, really uh, benefits us greatly. You know, one thing I think we've also learned, too, is the sense of community, the yes. sense of Ohana, that we have come as a state to help one another uh, neighbor, neighbor people helping mm -hmm. perfect strangers. And we both certainly saw that on the big island Absolutely. with all these it, people pitching in regarding the volcanic eruption. Yeah, it was kind of a chicken skin, you yeah. know, moment, yes. uh, many of those moments that we experienced. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned that your brothers and sisters uh, in Congress, yes. you don't want to see them pick and choose who they're oh, funding. That's right. Do you, do you sh see that same sense of Ohana that Hawaii is included <laughs> in that big Ohana? Or, or sometimes you really have to fight and remind them, like, hey, Oh, we're, yeah. we're, we're part of these 50 that, that's states. That's right, and that's what our delegation does. And uh, you know, we have some very unique kinds of situations, and so we have to make sure that when we pass national legislation that may have applicability to 49 states that may be a little bit different in mm -hmm. Hawaii. So, for example, regarding the volcano, uh, volcanic eruption, we have to change uh, the, the uh, law so that uh, our flower growers could get coverage for... Uh, damage from volcanoes, and that doesn't happen in a lot of other states. So I, I imagine language. similar to how farmers might be protected on the mainland when they lose their crops to national yes. or natural disaster. Yes. Okay, so you're going to be here with uh, your boots or or whatever. <laughs> well, I have my walking not shoes boots, on. <laughs> but um, on the ground, you know, what do you want to see happen, and what are you going to work to ensure happens here over the next again 24 48 hours I'm certainly staying in touch with all of our re responders and uh, uh, my staff is on a daily basis getting up updates and I will be probably be with the governor tomorrow morning when he does uh, another update and I was with all of the responders pretty much all of the people who are involved earlier this afternoon mm -hmm. at the uh, emergency uh, operations center in Diamond Head and so I work with everyone else to find out you know, what we can do and to make sure that we put our best foot forward when we request um, resources. And so far satisfied with the early and initial response? Oh, yes, yes. And, the, and a lot of this, uh, how safe we're going to be, is very much dependent on the people of Hawaii uh, really um, 
being attentive, watching the news, listening to the radio, and getting the supplies that they need. And, and we would be grateful if the hurricane does uh, pass us by, but I know that we're probably going to be in for a lot of rain, and that causes its own set of damages. So yeah. everybody needs to know, be safe. Absolutely. Pay attention. Okay. Thank yes. you very much, Senator. Thank Always you. appreciate Always. your time. Uh, if you're around for the next day or two and you come across some information you want to share, let us I'll know. I'll be back. We'll be okay. happy to welcome you back. Thank you so much. Right. No, Hello, thank everybody. You. Take care. Good. Thank you very much. You take care of yourself, too. <laughs>